What's up guys, I am back and these are the top hidden features in iOS 14. So the first feature here is very useful. So how many times you're inside settings and you're deep inside the menus and you just wanna go back to the main settings screen and you have to go back through all those menus, well now just long press on the top of the back button and a drop down menu comes up with all the last menus you visited. So just click on settings and you'll be back at the main page. And if you don't have the newer iPhones, you don't have the ability to change the video format inside the camera app, but with iOS 14, you can do just that. So go in camera, in the settings, and you can just toggle the switch on, and now you can change the video format in the camera app. Now I'm pretty sure you know that the widgets have this new stack feature, which houses more than one widget, but you can make your very own stack by just dropping a widget on a current widget, and it's pretty cool. You can add as many as you want and you're not limited to what the stack has to offer. Now, how many of you know that you can just double tap at the back of your iPhone to scroll up on a web page? So Apple introduced this new feature called back tap inside accessibility. Go to touch, scroll down, and you have this option called back tap with two presets. So you can either double tap or triple tap and you can customize it however you want. So for double tap, I have the control center which comes up right away and for triple tap, I have the lock screen, which also takes a second and two because it still isn't beta version, but you can customize it however you want. You can even import your Siri shortcuts to customize it. Now, Apple has also improved on photo search by introducing photo captions. So you can just caption any picture, anything you want, and you can just save it, and you can search it in the search bar, and the photo comes up right away. You can even ask Siri to search the picture for you. And if you're on the topic of searching things, now you can search emojis just like macOS inside iOS. So search for any emoji you want by typing say happy or sad and the emojis that match that description comes up right away. And with iOS 14, selfies have also improved. So now you can just mirror a selfie and the picture will come just the way it looks in the camera app and they won't flip it, so the ad is pretty cool. But this next one is even cooler. So go to settings, go to control center, scroll down, add sound recognition, and now your phone is gonna recognize sounds and let you know via a notification. So whenever your phone hears, say, a fire alarm, a doorbell, a door knock, a dog barking or a baby crying, It'll let you know via a notification, which is pretty amazing. And if you're talking about sounds and voices, might as well talk about the new magic button inside the voice memos app. So whenever you're recording now, just click on this button that looks like a magic wand and now your background noises will just disappear. So this thing acts like a noise cancellation button and it tries to reduce any sounds it hears in the background, which is pretty amazing. It just makes your memos more clear and more audible. And this next feature is also about sound and noises. So now your phone can measure the amount of decibels around you and lets you know that if it's safe or not for you. So you can just bring the volume down and the phone will let you know that it is okay for you now. So it's a pretty cool feature to have whenever you listen to a song and the phone will ping you every single time to bring the volume down to safe levels. Now I am pretty sure you know about the app library and the fact that this can make an entire page disappear, but I'm pretty sure you don't know about the fact that you can even make a single app disappear from the home screen and just keep it inside the app library. Also with iOS 14, you don't need to have cam scanner because you can scan documents right inside the notes app by long pressing on the camera button and clicking on scan documents. So just take the picture and from there, just adjust the size of the picture and make it sure it's in frame. And from there, just save the picture and you have the picture as a scanned document in a PDF form inside the notes application. Now, before iOS 14, if you ever wanted to see the weather for a specific place, you had to add it inside the weather app. Otherwise you were not able to see the weather for that place. Well now just search for it and the weather comes up right away without the need for you having to add it in the weather app. Now Apple has also made the messages app way better and more like the mail app. So now the organization is way better and you have every single detail in here. So all your transactions, all the promotions, all the junk are in different folder and you can easily access them from there. Now they have also added this new clipboard copy feature. So whenever you copy something in the clipboard and then you go to Safari or Chrome, you get a banner at the top saying that something has been copied and can be used in that very app. And they have added this new tracker inside of Safari that tracks the websites that have been tracking you and gives you an overview of every and any website that is tracking you 
and gives you a detailed report of all that data and they have also introduced this new location and recording indicator for certain apps so whenever you're recording or the app is using your location you will get to know with this indicator now i'm not sure if this is a feature or a glitch but the toggles for brightness and sound are very tall in landscape mode and they're very helpful in some ways because now you can adjust them to the precise value and i am pretty sure everyone is gonna love this because i sure do because now you can set an alarm by typing in the time instead of going on those roller wheels which was super annoying so this is a simple way this is how it should have been from day one but now it is so easy and so cool so last but not the least you can adjust the size of the call ui and i'm pretty sure no one is ever gonna do that but you still can i mean the new call ui is so good it is smaller it is more compact you can easily ignore calls but if you want to go back to the classic route you still can but you shouldn't so this is pretty much it now there are way more features in ios 14 that are hidden and if you guys shower some love on this video i sure will make another one and i hope you guys enjoyed this one so until then please like comment and subscribe peace